Welcome to the Herboriste du Paradis, the herbalist from paradise. Located in the square next to the Almoravid Dome, close to the Musée de Marrakech. The owner, Said Maroc Telecom, so nicknamed he told me because he spent so much time on the phone, led me through a huge array of products. Dried basil, sun-dried basil, shade-dried basil, red madder plant from which you get a red dye, dried chamomile flowers that make a lovely herbal tea, dried herbs, rosemary, here's lavender, sun-dried basil again, the dried chamomile, the root from the madder plant, and here's some dried hibiscus that makes a lovely herbal tea. He showed me corn strands that are mixed with cactus flowers to make a herbal tea. And then he showed me a dried plant that is a very effective, natural toothpick. These are clay pieces that are used like pumice stones in the hammam to take away rough skin. Here's dried pomegranate peels used with carob for stomach ailments. And then Saeed is anxious to show me shea, which is mixed into a paste and used as a poultice. He then led me inside his store where there were rows and rows of jars containing all kinds of things, frankincense, dried herbs, spices, cumin, cinnamon, black pepper, white pepper, here are some natural dyes, and then he showed me his perfumes, his essential oils, obviously trying to sell me some of his lovely perfumes, <laughs> and then he showed me packages with mixtures of herbs for different ailments. Locals go to the herbalist for all kinds of healing remedies. So if you have a headache or an upset stomach, head to the Herboris du Paradis. Here he's showing something for stomach ailments. And then he showed me some argan oil that he tells me is good for arthritis, sciatica, rheumatism. It's used as a massage oil and you can cook with it and used as a beauty product. Here he's showing me some saffron gel for dry lips and some saffron. It's the most expensive herb. Costs 30 dirhams for just one gram. Said sells them in small plastic containers of five grams at 150 dirhams. And then he showed me jars and jars of brightly colored frankincense. They're like lumps of rock and they're bur burned in small incense burners to add fragrance to a room. The colors are quite vivid, but he told me they hadn't been dyed and were their natural colors and can be found in the Atla Atlas Mountains. And then the jar with the all white, almost translucent rocks are called Shabba, alum in English. It's an astringent and used as an aftershave and also as a deodorant. Saeed told me it comes from the Atlas Mountains. He has so many products, it's quite bewildering. Mm -hmm.